Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the shop. Well, today's project is going to be a fairly simple one. We're going to be making a custom metal shelf. It's going to be about five feet long, about six inches wide, and primarily we'll be making it out of some 14 gauge sheet metal. So let's get started with today's project. All right, so 14 gauge sheet metal it is. I keep that stacked up there next to my plasma table. That's ultimately where it gets used. So the first thing I got to do is slice off a six inch piece. Now, I got these markers at the, the Bar Z Bash earlier this year. These things are pretty cool. Uh, six, uh, the shelf is going to be six inches wide, and I'm just making some marks right there. And then my uh, metal cutting skill saws, uh, the offset on it to the blade is five and a quarter. So that's that's when I'm um, getting marked, uh, getting uh, clamped into place right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. You can see that I've got my long sleeve shirt on and some gloves. The only bad thing about this metal uh, circular saw is it throws chips everywhere. And, uh, you know, it, uh, if you don't have a long sleeve on, some gloves, it, uh, it's a bit of a problem. But uh, other than that, with a steel thunder blade on there, it cuts it like butter. So there's the first piece right there. The, the idea here is to get all the pieces that I need to, to make this thing um to put it together and there's really not that much this is a piece of two inch by eighth inch flat bar stock this is what i'm going to be use using for the very back i reached into my my little metal supply here for the short pieces and uh, i found another piece of two inch by eighth inch uh shorter pieces and uh, i'm going to make uh, the little sides on the side of this shelf i'm going to have a little uh, design to it a little curly cue if you will a little, little radius in there i just uh, thought it would be something a little bit different uh, rather than nice and square to give it some sort of a look let's take it over to the uh dewalt port band here and cut it off didn't quite have enough room right there I had to flip it around to get that side done then over to the burking to deburr everything and get everything shaped up and I want to use uh, this piece right here as the template for the next piece. But uh, you can see that my pencils right here, I love these pencils, these silver pencils, by the way. I'll put a link in the description for those. I get them on Amazon. I just took them over and got them sharpened up. It's a nice, nothing like having a nice sharp pencil. You guys might want to wonder why the orange tape is on the end of those pencils. Is I got a bad habit. I have a tendency to put these things in my mouth. And you know, the tape helps with that. If I don't, they come apart. Anyways, uh, there it is, just marking it up right there, and then get that over to the uh, ported man and, and cut this piece out right here. You know, I was, didn't have any problem getting around that radius. It actually worked out uh, pretty good. Sometimes, uh, you know, the blade being thick like that, it can't make very sharp radiuses, but that worked out pretty good. Over to my overhead storage to grab a piece of uh, three-quarter by eighth-inch flat bar stock, and this is what I'm going to use for the front ledge of this shelf. You know, this shelf was inspired by the customer. Uh, they saw that on the internet someplace. And uh, so it's similar to the one I'm making. is uh, not exactly that, that way, but uh, similar to. But this is what they're looking for. And the assembly is uh, just uh, putting everything together. You can see I've got the mag squares. These are the mini mag squares. These things uh, work out pretty good, especially for something just like what I'm doing right here. You know, just uh, a couple tacks every uh, six inches or so is all I really need. To, uh, to hold this together. There's no structural value um, at all on this, and, and there's going to be really, ultimately, really no weight on this shelf. So I'm just tacking these side pieces in. We'll get the front piece on. I'm going to come back later and weld the outside of those side pieces all the way in. We'll get that done here in a minute. This is the front piece, again, about every six inches, just some tack welds to hold everything in place. You can see at the very end of this piece how it's drawn up as I'm welding. It's important to push that thing down and keep everything nice and flat. And then just go ahead and just welding out the outside. I'm doing this on both sides right here. And then I'm going to get a grinder and I'm going to just going to smooth that off. All right. So with a 60 grit uh, flap disc for Mercer uh, is all I really need to kind of smooth this thing off a little bit. You know, I've been using 27 uh, grit, 37 or 36 grit too. It's a little bit aggressive. That's the beauty about having these different grits and flap discs uh, just to, uh, for this reason right here this is 60 grits a nice smooth little finish and then a little cold chisel to get all the bbs and spatter off the uh the weld you know just kind of clean things up a little bit and just wipe it down with acetone i want to get any kind of grease and and anything that would be left on there prior to to getting some paint on this but 
Before I do that, uh, I thought it'd be a great idea to get some some mounting holes in here. Now, my thinking that the shelf is five feet wide, so I thought if I come in six inches from either end and then mark every 16 inches on center, most houses typically stud spacing is about 16 inches on center, so I'm hoping that uh, when the time comes and I get this uh, shelf mounted, then I'm going to be able to uh, hit the studs. It doesn't always work that way, but hopefully that's the case uh, in this situation. I'm going to be using some drywall screws, some two-inch drywall screws to do this. The shelf's going to be painted black, and the drywall screws are blacked. And then I'm just going to recess them in here, a little countersink right here, to uh, so those screws will be able to sit right in there really nice. Just deburr the outside, and there it is. It's, it's just complete, you know. I got some paint on this thing, and uh, it turned out pretty good. And it was a great little project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the website at jimbosgarage.com. Follow us on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.